Hey guys, just got a package from Matt all the way out in Montana, but the most important lesson we can take from this is don't use these priority envelopes. Matt paid over 15 bucks to send three locks to me. If you use the flat rate boxes, you can send the same thing and a lot more for, uh, it's like 525, something like that. Anyway, inside of this box, a couple things I'd never seen before. This is a, an American 3560 and it has an integrated circuit, uh, integrated circuit and uh, uh, interchangeable core. This is a best core. I've never seen one of these before. I'm not going to try to pick this one because this one looks like it's been around the block a couple of times. This one looks a lot nicer. I love Abus locks and again I have never seen the interchangeable core. I don't know what brand this is. Not best, uh, but pretty cool. None of these have lock, uh, keys by the way. And the last one he sent me is a very old Yale. Um, sometimes these are shimmable. This might be the case. I'm going to try to pick this one. At least get it open. Let's try to shim it first. There looks to be a gap. You don't often see that on these older locks. The, the uh, tolerances in these are usually pretty good. So, let's see if we can get our shims in. And he doesn't want to go in there. And again, this is one of the features of these older locks is that they put ledges on the locking pawl so you can't get the shims in. So there might be a space, but they got a protection. Let's see if we can get it open and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, again, no key, but I will show you a trick. These old locks rarely have security pins. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my normal standard hook. I'm just going to slide them all the way to the back and then apply a little bit of tension and what we're going to do we're just going to try to rock it. These sometimes you can get lucky on these like that and you can get into them. Alright let's take a look at the locking pawl. If you take a look here it might be hard to see if I shove the, the uh, shim in but there's a ledge on the top to prevent it from going in and also if you try to slide it on the slide and rotate it around they stick out just enough to catch that shim on both sides so it's a design feature. I don't think they did that by accident. They did that to keep us out of here. Anyway, there you go. The Yale, Abus, and the Merrick. I hope to get to these pretty soon. This one, I don't know if anybody's ever going to get in this one again. He looks pretty rough. But anyway, thank you sir for the lock. Appreciate it Matt. Everybody else stay safe, stay legal, stay away from priority. Use flat rate guys.